So, you think you've been living the life of an ordinary law-abiding citizen, but you could be breaking the laws you didn't even know existed. Most of these laws are so obscure that the average citizen doesn't even know they exist, but a few of them are more recent and have garnered plenty of media attention. I'm Jake, the Voice Pa. These are 10 laws you might be breaking without even knowing. If you're in the mood to watch Ryan Reynolds take down bad guys and get laid while you're drinking a whiskey, you better not be in a Utah bar. In 2016, the state of Utah threatened to take away the liquor license of a local pub that doubles as a movie theater and fined them $25,000 after they served liquor to customers while showing Deadpool. The state claimed that the bar broke a law that prohibited the sale of liquor while showing a film that shows full frontal nudity and simulated sex. This case gathered so much attention that actor Ryan Reynolds, who plays Deadpool, donated $5,000 to help defend the bar. The case goes before a judge in May 2017. Expect a hassle if you clean out your couch cushions and then try to pay for pizza with the change you find. The Canadian Currency Act states that while change is a valid form of currency, there's a limit to how many you can use in one transaction. The current legal limit for a transaction are 25 pennies, 100 nickels, 100 dimes, and 25 $1 coins, which are called loonies. And if you think you can just go in and split your order in half to avoid the limitations, think again. You get one transaction of all coins at an individual location per day. If you're headed out, you will need to put up your trousers and put on a belt if you don't want to pay a fine in some small towns. In July of 2016, Timminsville, South Carolina passed a law that prohibits people from wearing trousers that intentionally display undergarments. Town leaders quoted the broken windows theory for policing the community, saying that cracking down on smaller crimes would reduce the occurrence of more serious ones. Violators of this law face a fine up to $600. Timmonsville isn't alone. About a dozen other communities have similar laws. Those famous beer crawls you've heard about, you might want to think twice before you partake. According to a 2015 policy paper, the government in the UK is sick and tired of dealing with the drunk and disorderly. The law is pretty clear, stating, quote, it is illegal to knowingly sell alcohol or attempt to sell alcohol to a person who is drunk. It is also illegal to allow alcohol to be sold to someone who is drunk. You could end up with a hefty fine of around £1,000 if you break this law. As an added note of caution, it's also illegal to get alcohol for someone you know is drunk, so a sober buddy system doesn't cut it either. If you want to smoke cannabis in Colorado, no problem. If you want to toss a snowball, you might have to contend with the cops. Section 15 of the Colorado State Code says that throwing snowballs, stones or other missiles at a building or other person in a public place is illegal. In theory, you could probably have a snowball fight with your friends in the backyard, but move it to a park and you could get a fine and a citation. In 2011, police cited three men for accidentally hitting a pedestrian in the face while they were throwing snowballs at each other. Planning to play a few rounds of pinball in South Carolina? You better have your ID ready. State law says that it is illegal for people under the age of 18 to play the game. The good news is that cops probably aren't going to start carding everyone at the arcade essentially making this law little more than paper dreams. But if you're feeling a little rebellious and want a safe way to test the waters, you'll still be technically breaking the law if you slip a quarter into one of these machines before your 18th birthday. If you live in Tennessee and you plan on saving a little cash by sharing a Netflix account with something that isn't your spouse, you could be in major trouble. This law applies to any other entertainment account, Hulu, iTunes, Amazon, etc. Surprisingly, Netflix doesn't outright ban the sharing of passwords, though they do caution that household members are responsible for whatever happens on that account. This bill passed under the argument that sharing a password to an entertainment account constitutes stealing. Lawbreakers could face up to a year in jail and a $2,500 fine. 
First, they invented caller ID, essentially eliminating the art of prank calling someone completely. Now it's illegal to order your friend a pizza without their knowledge. If you do send your friend, or annoying neighbor, a pizza or any other goods they have to pay for, they can send the product back and the person who made the prank delivery is responsible for payment. In addition, pranksters could face a $500 fine or up to six months in jail. As an added note, it's also illegal to order goods or services with the intention of harassing or annoying someone in Louisiana. It's a federal crime to toss old mail that doesn't belong to you. If you're tempted to throw out the mail that keeps coming even though John Smith moved out your apartment more than a year ago, think again. It's illegal to toss any mail connected to someone else, even the junky credit card offers. If you are caught, you could face up to a $250,000 fine or five years in jail. Simplify your life and stay jail free by notifying your local post office that the previous tenant moved out. An Oklahoma city law says minors cannot use a permanent marker in public unless they are with an adult. A 13-year-old boy found this out the hard way when cops arrested him for using a marker in class. The student got busted because the marker bled through the paper he was writing on, staining the desk. Officials considered that graffiti. The student was taken to a juvenile detention center and the marker was taken to the property room. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out our other lists. Thank you very much for watching and thanks for learning.